three, two, one. Okay, everybody, here we have uh, my resistor design uh, that I made with redstone repeaters, a couple of pistons in Minecraft. Now, basically what this does is <clears throat> it works just like a resistor on a typical printed circuit board in real life, with the exception that you can turn this one on and off with a switch. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, this is, of course, our input, and our input line runs over to our output, which has either a bypass turned on, which is currently turned on, or a resistor line that goes to our resistor, which is essentially six repeaters in a row. Um, and of course, the repeaters can be adjusted, creating a variable band resistor. So because our resistor is bypassed right now, if we go ahead and click our input, our output is going to respond in kind, just like that. Now, if we were to go ahead and turn the pistons on, we would see that the bypass is now blocked and the input line goes to our resistor, which is, again, six repeaters. And if we were to go ahead and click our input again, we will see the response from the repeaters, and boom, there you have it. Now you have a resistance in your current. Um, again, this works just like a, a, a regular resistor component, and the reason it's uh, the reason I've built such a thing is I know there are a lot of people out there that like to build uh, ALUs, adders, subtractors, multipliers, and other um, computer components f uh, in uh, in Minecraft, and this is just kind of a way of identifying uh, a component in a specific way. So instead of Instead of trying to figure out where a problem is along a, a, a massive bus of redstone wire and trying to troubleshoot each little bit, um, this kind of alleviates that by creating some sort of componency uh, to your um, circuit designs. And so now you have an actual resistor that you can isolate if there is an issue in some sort of currency flow or current flow, excuse me. Um, I have in the future coming up a design for a capacitor and a design for a transistor. Um, I'm putting the, uh, the, the, the map here in uh, a download in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and download this for, your, for yourself. Um, I don't have a schematic for it. I'm not going to make a schematic for this resistor. It's, uh, it's disappointingly simple how uh, how this resistor is designed if you need a schematic you probably don't want to you probably don't want to try and make this resistor um, if you are designing ALUs and you're designing adders you really don't need a schematic for something this simple it's just an input going around a piston a sticky piston um, to a, a buffer of, of six repeaters um, with two pistons on a single line and a NOT gate inverting one piston to do the exact opposite of its partner piston once a switch is thrown. The switch is arbitrary, of course, and your input can be anything. Your output can be anything. Um, I don't have any example because I wanted to show specifically the input and the output just like that and uh, with the resistor on and with the resistor off. So there you have it. There's my video. Thanks for watching. Keep tuned because, again, I'm going to have a capacitor um, design and a transistor design. I'm not going to do a diode because that's what a, a repeater is. It's basically a diode with no delay. Um, or, excuse me, that's what a diode is, is a repeater with no delay. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Again, I apologize for the horrible picture on the Reddit thread. Um, hopefully, this will clarify any kind of confusion and... Um, Hopefully you guys will stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again.